Okay. Um, I'm going to create another background. Um, just show you some of the same paints that I used in a previous background. Um, there's Aurelian Yellow. There's a mixture of cadmium yellow with um, a um, similar orange. And then there is some mixture of alizarin crimson and rose matter with some Quintin Dome pink until I got more or less the colors that I wanted. So I'm going to, first of all, just wet the paper a tiny bit, not a lot, just a little bit to make sure that I don't have that all of the paper is wet. because this will be done fairly quickly. And um, I don't want any empty dry spots on this one. Okay, I think I'm seeing a slight sheen on the entire paper. And um, I'm gonna create a background that's gonna be fairly pale and it's going to be a mixture of oranges and pinks. I'm probably going to do a, a floral or a nature scene um, on this when it's all done. But I'm going to create, um, for this one, I want some areas of dark and some areas of light. And I'm going to leave the colors to mix. And I'm going to use the, the cling wrap. In this case, it's saran wrap. I'm going to use the cling wrap to create texture. I'm going to take clean wrap and place it on the paper in different places and squish it up. Squish it up and let it dry. And everywhere that the clean wrap is sticking to the paper, and I can move it around a little bit here. These colors are all mixing, so it doesn't matter if I mix them a little bit this way. I'm going to take some more cling wrap. So it doesn't have to be one piece for the whole piece of paper. I can use several different pieces and work it that way. So I'll put another piece here. See, and everywhere that the, and move it around, and as I move it around, everywhere that the, the clean wrap is touching the paper and, and is flat and there's no vacuum, you will get a kind of granulated lighter color. And then in some places where the clean wrap is making a space, you will get some lines depending on whether you want a lot of lines or just a little bit, you just move it around. Sometimes you can just do this on one section of the um, paper, or you can do it everywhere on the paper. So I'm going to do a little bit here. Sometimes you want more in one area, more lines in one area and less lines. So, I 
that's all there is to that. And you will, when this is completely dry, yeah, you have to let it dry. And since it's under the cling wrap, it's going to take a while to dry. So basically, you want to let it dry overnight and leave it alone. And then you'll just pick up the cling wrap and you will have this whole texture. And I'll show you a photo of that at the end. And I have deliberately used some light, transparent colors so that I can glaze over this. And I've used yellow and orange and red because with yellow you can go and make uh, brown, um, you can make green, um, you can do a variety of nature colors, plant colors. Um, and they can be incorporated into the, um, the drawing and the painting that you do easily. Whereas if you did this with brown or green, um, you wouldn't have as much versatility in what you eventually will put on top of here. But this is one way to make texture. And if you just want a little more texture, you just, you see, you just move it around and, and then you have more lines in it rather than less lines. If you want it more, a little more, see, just a little more. And then you want it to be touching in most places. And let me just show you. Right there. That's a pretty good image. And it will dry darker in all the spaces where the paint is collecting. Um, There's some empty spaces and some spaces where the paint collects. So that's how that works. I'll show you a picture later.